NCAA basketball fans, the field is now set for the 2018 Southern Conference Tournament, which begins on March 2nd at the U.S. Cellular Center in Asheville, North Carolina. All 10 teams in the conference will participate and all games will be played at the neutral site, as they have been since the 2011 season. The top six seeds get a bye into the quarterfinals, so the bottom four teams will battle it out in the first round on Friday night, March 2nd. This is a one-bid league, so the winner of the conference tournament will be heading to March Madness. But there are a few other teams that could go to the NIT, CBI, or CIT. East Tennessee State looked to be in the driver's seat for the top seed in this league, but the Buccaneers dropped three straight games to end the regular season and fell onto the number two line behind UNC Greensboro. The Buccaneers have actually lost four of their last five, including one to UNC Greensboro. The Spartans were very fortunate to grab that top spot as a loss to Chattanooga could have factored into the equation, but it wound up not mattering. This is an extremely top-heavy league, which is why East Tennessee State struggles down the stretch hurt them so much. Instead of getting an opponent like Mercer or Wolford, the Buccaneers will run into Furman in the semifinals, barring a big upset. The top three teams in the conference are virtually interchangeable, and beyond them, there aren't many balanced teams in this league. Some teams like the Citadel and Sanford like to run, but can't play much defense. Mercer plays great offense, but poor defense as well. Even Greensboro and ETSU excel more on the defensive end than on offense. Even though this looks like a balanced conference with three 20 game winners, UNC Greensboro is the team to take here at plus 240. East Tennessee State's struggles at the end of the season feel like a byproduct of a bigger problem. If you want a more of a value pick, take Mercer as they are the best team in this league from an offensive efficiency standpoint.